our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets together. Lord, our mass on us and write these laws in our hearts. Prayer of the day. Almighty God, who by your Son Jesus Christ gave your holy apostles many excellent gifts and charged them to feed your flock, give grace, we beseech thee, to all bishops, pastors, and lay readers of your church, that they may diligently preach the word and duly administer the godly discipline thereof, and grant to your people that they may obediently follow the same, that all may receive the crown of lasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, we have come to the part of the ministry of the word, and we invite our brother, the Right Reverend Patrick Wakula, to take the piece of reading. Praise the Lord. The piece of readings is from First Peter, chapter 3, from verse 18. First Peter, chapter 3, verse 18. For Christ died for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, to bring you to God. He was put to death in the body, but made alive in the spirit, through whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who disobeyed long ago, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, when the ark was being built. In it, only a few, only eight in all, were saved through water. And this water symbolizes baptism that now saves you also. Not the removal of dirt from the body, but the pledge of a good conscience towards God. It saves you by the resurrection of Jesus Christ who has gone into heaven and is at God's right hand with the angels, authorities, and the powers in submission to him. Brethren, this is the word of God. I now invite all of us to stand as we take the gospel reading by the Right Reverend William Sebagala, the Bishop of Mokono. Enjiri entikuvu ya wandi ikibwa musula esoka mungiri ya mako okutani kira kurunyiriri oro muenda. The Gospel of Mark Chapter 1, verse 9. Yokana abatiza Yesu. Aurwatu kamu na kwezo, Yesu nava enazaresi eche galiraya, naja nabatizwa yokana, mumuga yorodani. Mbayali akava mazi, amangu ago Yesu nalabe guru, ngalibi kuse. No more young Amukako, Ngejiba, Nedobos in the River Muguru, Ngaliga Manti, Gwemana Wange, Gwen Yagara, Gwen Sanyo Kirenyo. Among Wago, Omoena Sindikae Sumudungu, Nabera Mudungu, and Aquama Kumiana, Ngakemewa Setani, Nabawamu Nesolo, Neba Malaika. Ngaba muereza, eno yengiri ya Kristo.
as we remain standing, let us affirm what we believe with the words of the Nicene Creed on page 11. Together, we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and all that is visible and invisible. Begotten of men, one being the Father, through him all things were made. For us men of our salvation, he came down from heaven by the power of the Spirit, and was incarnated of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For us was crucified and born just by letter. He suffered and died of him was buried, and the third day rose again, according to the scriptures. He ascended in heaven. And sit at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom come no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Give of mine, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, and is both for the prophets. Once again, I welcome all of you in the presence of the Lord as we gather here at St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe, on this very, very important day. We thank the Lord who has led us this far, and we thank Him for the good, exemplary, visionary, leadership of his servant, the most reverend Stanley and Mama Beatrice Ntagali. Your Grace, the Archbishop, happy birthday. Join me in congratulating our Archbishop on his 65th birthday. ABMP Dimwena Mokama Yeva Zibwe Era na balala mwenna mukama yeba zibwe abantu ba katonda mwenna tubasamu ekitibwa May I now invite the dean of the province of the Church of Uganda to come for welcoming remarks Your Grace and Mama, all the bishops and important guests here present. My name is Jackson Zerevende Tembo, Dean of the Province of the Church of Uganda, but also Bishop of South Missouri Diocese. It's a canonical requirement that we take roll call of the bishops present for a function like this one. Before that, I would like to inform the congregation that His Grace is here together with the Mama. We ask them to welcome the congregation. After I'm done, I will invite his grace to welcome and introduce other guests. We have the Right Reverend Dr. Huntington TV. I'm not aware whether he's here, but Mama Mire is here. He's the assistant bishop of Kampala Diocese. 
Red Reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba and Mama Margaret. We are here. The other details will be announced by His Grace. Um, Jackson Zerevende and my wife is here, Dorothy Zerevende. Dorothy, will you wave to the people? Red Reverend Alphonse Wethakudi and Mama Evelyn Wethakudi. Nebi Darcis. Red Reverend Patrick Gidudu and Mama Anna Gidudu Mbale Darcis. Red Reverend James Nasaka and Mama Rose Nasaka, North Karamoja. Red Reverend James William Sebagala and Mama Tezira Sebagala Mukono Dasis. The Red Reverend Johnson Gakumba and Mama Christine Gakumba, Northern Uganda Dasis. The Red Reverend Eridad K. Nsubuga and Mama Jane Nsubuga, Luero Dasis. Red Reverend George. Bagamhunda and Mama Chris Bagamhunda Chiges Dasis. Red Reverend Kitio Luwalera and Mama Faith Kitio Luwalera Namrembe Dasis. Red Reverend Stephen Nahamanye, Mama and Mama Lydia Nahamanye, North Ankole. That's Red Reverend Stephen Namanya and Mama Lydia Namanya Nothankole. Red Reverend Samuel Kahuma and Mama Sarah Kahuma Bunyoro Kichara Dasis. Red Reverend Joseph Abura and Mama Margaret Abura Karamocha Dasis. Red Reverend George Kasangaki and Mama Elizabeth Kasangaki. Masind Kitara Dasis, Red Reverend Henry Katumba W. Tamale, and Reverend Elizabeth Tamale, West Buganda Dasis, Red Reverend Benoni Magezi and Mama Gladys Magezi, North Chikezi Dasis, Red Reverend Paul S. Namanye, and Mama Florence Namanye, Busoga Dasis. We have the Red right Reverend Patrick Wakula and Mama Florence Wakula, St. Rob Soga. Red right Reverend Dan Zoreka and Mama Florence Zoreka, Chingizi Dasis. Red right Reverend Dr. Sheldon Mwesigwa and Mama Dr. Alice Mwesigwa, Ankole Dasis. Red Reverend Amos Magezi and Mama Jean Magezi, Northwest Ankole Dasis. Red Reverend Samuel G. Egesa and Mama Elizabeth Egesa, Bukedi Dasis. Red Reverend Michael Boa and Mama Jennifer Boa, Central Buganda Dasis. Red Reverend Dr. Alfred Oloa and Mama Canon Captain Susan Olua Langodasis. Right Reverend Robin Xembo and Mama Lillian Xembo Ruenzori Dasis. Right Reverend Nathan Ahimbisiwe and Mama Lillian Ahimbisiwe South Angola Dasis. Right Reverend Samuel Gidudu and Mama Esther Gidudu. North Mbale. Red Reverend Krani Mamugisa and Mama Hope Krani Mamugisa Muhavura Dasis. Red Reverend Paul Kiputo Masaba and Mama Agnes Masaba Nalongo Sebe Dasis. Red Reverend Charles Collins Aduku and Mama Jane Aduku Ma Adaku. Madi and West Nile Dasis. Right Reverend Johnson Tuinomu Juni 
and Mama Joy to Inomu Juni, West Angola Diocese. Great Reverend George Turia Singra and Mama Juliet Turia Singra, East Wenzori Diocese. Great Reverend Wilson Kitara and Mama Bet Kitara, Kitugum Diocese. Great Reverend Kosea Dongo and Mama Grace Achen Dogo, Soroti Dances. Right Reverend Julius Caesar Nina and Mama Janet Nina West Lango Dances. Right Reverend James, Right Reverend Dr. James Bokomeko and Mama Rose Bokomeko Nalongo. Mitiana Dases, Right Reverend Charles Odrukami and Mama Miriam Odrukami, Kumi Dases, caretaker and retired bishop. We have a number of retired bishops, Your Grace, here present. The Right Reverend Dunstan Bukenya and Mama Fobibu Kenya, he is the representative of the retired bishops. Other retired bishops here present is the Right Reverend Henry Luke Orombi, retired Archbishop, and Mama Fobibu Orombi. We also have Right Reverend Elphaz Mary and Mama Eunice, retired Bishop of Kampala. We also have the retired Reverend George Katwesije and Mama of Chigesi. We have Right Reverend Dr. Edward Mohima and Mama, they are here. Right Reverend Wilson Turumanya and his wife, third Bishop of Bunyoro Kitara. Right Reverend Nathan Chamanyua and Mama Peace, also Bunyoro Kitara. Right Reverend Iona Mwesigwa Katonene. And Mama Alvida, Western Cole. Right Reverend George Sinabria, and Mama from Central Uganda. Right Reverend Jackson Matovu, and Mama also from Central Uganda. Right Reverend M. Becker Ochola from Kitugum. Right Reverend Benon, Northern Uganda, Benon Ugwa. The others are Right Reverend Zebidi Masereka and Mama Stella, retired Bishop of South Renzori Diocese. Right Reverend Samwiri Wablaha and Mama from Pale. Right Reverend Nelson Onon Onwing and, and Mama from Northern Uganda. Right Reverend E. Paul Luzinda Kizito and Mama from Mukono Dasis. Right Reverend John Ntejiri, sorry, not, that was not present. Right Reverend Dr. Samuel Kefa Kamia and Mama, West Buganda. Right Reverend Dr. Nicodemus Okili and Mama Buke Didasis. Right Reverend Dr. Michael Chomia of Busoga Dasis. Right Reverend Daniel Gimadu, North Mbale. Right Reverend Dr. Joel Obatia, Madi West Nile. And the Right Reverend Edward Bamchuanira, retired Bishop of East Renzori. 
Right Reverend Charles B. Oboiko, a Bitru, and Mama from Soroti Diocese. The Right Reverend George Eruao and Mama from Soroti Diocese. The right Reverend Alfred Achu Okodi and Mama Deborah from West Lango. We also have wives of the departed bishops. Unfortunately, I have not taken note of those who are present. I will just go through the lists. And Mama, if you are here, you will just wave to the congregation. But before that, the retired bishop, Sebunya, Senyimba, is also here from Konodasis. Welcome, Bishop Senyimba. The wives of the, oh, and Bishop Samuel Valagade Sekade of Namrembe. I apologize, Bishop. The wives of the departed servants of God, Mama Ruth Ngoyoyo, Mrs. Gonohasa, Mrs. Margaret Bukimbi, Mrs. Chamugambi, Mrs. Jolebe Tungura, Mrs. Lomonkin, Lomonkin, Mrs. Wani, Mrs. Drati, Mrs. Wasiche, Mrs. Wesonga, Mrs. Joyce Koboi, Mrs. Mudonyi, Mrs. Sharita, Mrs. Giridain Kauma, Mrs. Edith Kahigwa, who also recognize Mrs. Barrier, Mrs. Rose Chaligonsa, Mrs. Augustine Salimo, Mrs. Eluka, Mrs. Deborah Bugi Makumbi, and Mrs. Nsubuga. Your Grace, may I now invite you, and Your Grace, you will also remember to introduce the bishops from other provinces. Welcome, Your Grace. God is good. And all the time, and this is the day that the Lord has made, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. On behalf of the bishops of the Church of Uganda and all the Christians and our visiting uh, bishops and archbishops, I want to take this opportunity to welcome our guest of honor, His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni and Honorable Mama Janet Museveni. Your Excellency, you are very welcome and Mama. Thank you for coming to grace this occasion as our guest of honor. I want to welcome the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, who is also with us today. We have the Right Honourable Prime Minister of Uganda, Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda. Welcome. We have the former Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honourable Mama Mbabazi, and his dear wife, Canon Jacqueline Mbabazi. And all of you, men and women of God, Honourable Ministers and Members of Parliament, there will be time to acknowledge uh, you individually. 
before I proceed, I want to introduce my wife, Mama Beatrice Ntagali Nalongo Abuoli. And I want also to recognize the presence of the Katikir of Buganda, Oksitibwa, Peter Maiga. Uh, you are welcome, Oksitibwa. And officials from the Buganda government, we welcome you all. Um, I want to introduce our Mugole, the Archbishop elect, the Right Reverend Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugalo, and Mama Margaret Kazimba. They are here. And that is the reason we are here in this St. Paul's Cathedral, Namirembe, the Provincial Cathedral and the Diocese and Cathedral. We want to thank God. We are blessed to have international visitors. Uh, I want to recognize the presence of Naba Gerika. Uh, you are welcome, Mama. We are very happy to see you. Thank you. And before the international guests, we have the provincial chancellor, Canon Barnabas Tumusinjize. He's here, and he did a good job during the election. Thank you, Canon. And the deputy provincial chancellor, Mr. Naboth Muhairwe, is also here. We are blessed to have the Archbishop of Canterbury, Archbishop Justin Welby, uh, primate of and primate of all England. Your Grace, you are very welcome. We are happy to have you and your team. We have the Archbishop of Kenya, the Most Reverend Jackson Olesapiti, the Anglican Church of Kenya. We have the Archbishop of We have Archbishop Justin Badi from the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. You are welcome. We have Archbishop Zachary Masmango, Anglican Church of Congo. We have Archbishop Laurent Mbanda, the Anglican Church of Rwanda. We have Archbishop Martin Nyaboho, the Anglican Church of, of Burundi. Uh, we have Archbishop elect of Nigeria. He's here with his wife. Archbishop Henry, Archbishop Henry Angela Ndukuba, Archbishop elect and primate of all Nigeria. We are happy to see you. We have Bishop Elias Chakupewa representing the Archbishop of Tanzania, Karibu Sana. We have Archbishop Miguel Uchoa, the Anglican Church of Brazil. And we have Archbishop Foley Beach the Anglican, from the Anglican Church of North America and Chairman of GAFCON Movement. And he's going to be our preacher today. We have bishops and delegations from other countries. And when I mention your country, please stand up. We have bishops and delegates from Kenya. We have bishops from Tanzania, bishops from Rwanda, South Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Sudan, Burundi, Nigeria, South Africa, South Korea, England, Ireland, Australia, United States of America, because we have many visitors, we have asked representatives of four regions to bring greetings on behalf of our friends 
and partners in their region. We have, we shall begin with our own Archbishop of Canterbury, the Most Reverend and Right Honorable Justin Welby, who will bring greetings on behalf of England and the United Kingdom, Europe, and the Anglican Communion. Your Grace, you are welcome to bring greetings. Your Graces, Your Excellency, brothers and sisters in Christ. Yesterday, I went to Namagongo on pilgrimage. It was a transforming experience of si <laughs> to see the seed of this extraordinary and wonderful church. When I go to Westminster Abbey, I see the statue of Janani Lawum at the front. And in 1975, three Ugandan bishops came to England to preach the gospel. One of them was Bishop Festo Kivendri. He preached at Holy Trinity Church in Cambridge in the Henry Martin Hall at breakfast. There was a young student there who was invited by a friend. That student had been in Kenya the year before. He was 19 years old, and in Kenya he had seen the fruit of the revival and had begun to see the reality of Jesus. But because of that evangelistic address, three days later, that student gave his life to Jesus Christ. That student was me. As that song says, we praise you, Jesus, Jesus, Lamb of God. Your blood cleanses me. I praise you, Saviour. And because of Uganda's witness, the Anglican Communion exists stronger than it would be without Uganda. Without Uganda, it would be deeply weakened. With Uganda and its wonderful archbishops, here we have His Grace, Archbishop Henry, the last but one. We have Archbishop Stanley and Mama Beatrice. And we will have Archbishop Stephen and Mama Margaret. We give thanks for the Church of Uganda. We have our differences, but we know that only Jesus saves, and that unites us. Without Jesus, there is no salvation. And so, with a full heart, I bring my greetings from the Diocese of Canterbury, from the Church of England, and on behalf of the Anglican Communion. I pray for a Ugandan church that grows and flourishes, that sends more missionaries and brings many to faith in Christ. Thank you, Church of Uganda, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. In our differences, let us walk in the light. In our failures, let us find forgiveness. And in Jesus Christ, let us give thanks. Next, we shall have, thank you, Your Grace, for those greetings. We shall have the Most Reverend Miguel Uchoa, the Archbishop of the Anglican Church in Brazil, to bring greetings on behalf of the Americas. Welcome.
is be with you. It's a great, with great joy that I'm standing here. Since I was saved as a young man, I followed the African revival, and I see here some of my heroes in faith. And this is a, a privilege for me. And I stand here on behalf of the confessing Anglicans of the three Americas. And these involve the North America, the Central America, and the South America. Thirteen countries where these Anglicans Christians are faithful to the teaching of the apostles according to the scriptures. Thirteen countries that have been inspired by you, brave Anglicans in Africa, who keep faithful following the 2,000 years of the Christian faith and teaching, and over 500 years of reform Anglicanism. There is a weight on my shoulders in this moment, and I want to embrace and greet His Grace Stanley Nitgali for his work as Archbishop, your life, Stanley, your ministry, your courage inspired us so much. And on, a, on behalf of the Americas, I want to greet your Grace Stephen Kasimba, a man I got to know not long ago, but already called my attention and caught my heart with his wisdom and his tender voice. We have greatly valued our partnership and the fact that the Church of Uganda is in full communion with us, the Anglican Church in Brazil. We rejoice that we share the faith with you that Anglicans have celebrated for so long. In the face of those he has departed from biblical truths, may God be praised for the faith once delivered unto the saints, which we share. So thank you very much, and God bless you. Next we shall have Right Reverend Malcolm Richards from Sydney, Australia, to bring greetings on behalf of Asia and Oceania. Utatueleza Oceania ina maanisha nini? Your Excellency, uh, Archbishops, uh, Bishops and Christians, greetings from Australia, from Asia and Oceania. Uh, my name is uh, Bishop Malcolm uh, from Sydney and uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. Um, I first of all bring greetings from CMS Australia. Uh, Canon Peter Rogers from CMS Australia brings greetings to Archbishop Stanley and uh, Archbishop-elect Stephen. Uh, CMS Australia uh, wants to partner with you. I also bring greetings from uh, the Archbishop of Sydney, the Most Reverend Dr. Glenn Davies, and I have a message from uh, Dr. Glenn that uh, he would like me to read to you. To my dear brother in Christ, Archbishop Stephen, please accept my warm greetings from the Diocese of Sydney. I also send greetings from all Orthodox Anglicans from Asia and Oceania in my capacity as the GAFCON Deputy General Secretary for this region. The Church of Uganda has been a source of encouragement for faithful Anglicans around the world as you place the biblical witness to Jesus at the centre of your church life. We have walked with the Church of Uganda and we continue to value this vibrant church as a key gospel partner. Archbishop Stephen, we are so thankful to God for your appointment and wish you and your family God's richest blessing in the coming days. Faithful Anglicans seek an Anglican church around the world which is committed to Jesus and which submits itself 
to the authority of the scriptures. As Christ's body, we face difficult times as we undertake this ministry in his world. We see antagonism or disinterest from those outside the church and division from within. We commit ourselves to pray for you and for the Church of Uganda, especially praying that God would give you wisdom and discernment as you face the many challenges and joys that await you. Please pray for us also in our service of Christ. I commend you to the mercies of our Heavenly Father in the words of St. Paul to Timothy. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Persevere in them, because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. From 1 Timothy 4.16. Grace and peace from the Most Reverend Dr. Glenn Davies, Archbishop of Sydney and Metropolitan of New South Wales, GAFCON Deputy General Secretary for Asia and Oceania. Greetings to all. And last we have uh, the Most Reverend Rent Mbanda, the Archbishop of, of Rwanda and Vice Chair of GAFCON Primates Council to bring greetings on behalf of Africa. Your Grace. Your Excellency, Your Graces, Bishops, brothers and sisters, it is a joy for me to be here today to celebrate the enthronement of our brother, His Grace Kazimba, and I congratulate you on behalf of the Church of Rwanda. We are extremely thankful for the service, the faithfulness, the stand that Archbishop Tagari has taken in proclaiming Christ the faithfully to the nations. Thank you for taking the lead. It is a joy to follow in your footsteps as Vice Chair of GAFCON because you have been there. It is a challenge for us as archbishops, as bishops, to proclaim class, especially in the world today. We have to be courageous. We have to remain steady. We have to guard the gospel entrusted to us. We have to follow the example and the commitment of Paul, who exemplified the commitment to the gospel, who preached the gospel of Christ, who taught it faithfully. We will be successful. And my brother, Archbishop Kazimbi, you will be successful if you commit daily to the living and the goals of the Lord. We will be successful, successful as Christians if we continue to proclaim Christ faithfully to the nations. Let us join hands. We have always been partners. We have learned a lot from the Church of Uganda, and we look forward to linking arms and serving him faithfully to the nations. Thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Uh, I've been informed that we have other religious leaders from other religions. We are welcoming you. We have Bishop Kisitu of Uganda Orthodox Church, based in Gulu. You are welcome. Uh, we have our brother, Archbishop Benjamin Kwashi, the General Secretary, GAFCON Movement. Your Grace, you're welcome. We have Reverend Canon Dr. Moses Bushendich, our own uh, CMS Africa. Canon Moses, you're welcome. We have Reverend Canon Dr. John 
McDonald Sums USA. Canon John, my friend, you're welcome. We have Reverend Paul Thaster of CMS UK. We have Mr. Stephen Bagas, CMS UK. And we have Mr. Eric and Jim Moore, Trinity School for Ministry. You are welcome. Uh, Your Excellency, I have been reliably informed that you want to leave, and we thank you for coming in time. And it is now my time to invite you, Your Excellency, to address the congregation, and you'll be free to leave. Thank you, Your Excellency. His Grace, the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, His Grace, the Archbishop of Untagari, His Grace, Archbishop Kazimba, to be installed in a few minutes. His Grace, the Archbishop of Canterbury, all the other religious leaders. Namo mwena avakiriza, navatakiriza. I had written this note. I had wanted uh, the next important person in the state to read it, in the case I left earlier, which would have been right honorable Kadaga, the speaker. But since now I am here, I will read it, because I saw you giving uh, the religious people who are, who are from other areas a slot. So I said, Nange Mumperizaka. I had written, I could not stay until the end of the function because I had something else to attend to. Omanyi Avuge Gari Omuka Temulava. But since I've been given this chance, I want to mention that, first of all, I congratulate our good friend, the former Bishop of Mitiana, Bishop Kazimba, on his elevation to the high of position of Archbishop. I can give witness that he did a good job in Mitiana. I'm sure he will now scale up that good work in the whole of Uganda. I congratulate Archbishops Orombi and in Tagari for the contribution they made to the Church of Uganda, such as the Church House. Church House. Nariwo Najirawa. Church House. Temalina Nyumba, Temalina. Chizimbe Chamwe, 
Jemujangam Center. And Archbishop Orumbi started it. Either finished it or nearly finished it. And uh, Archbishop Tagari finished it. They were threatening to take it, some banks and so on. I think also we, smaller people also came in and did some, something. <laughs> so that building, I'm sure, is there now. And is firmly in, in, in our hands. Nangeti Munera, Nanga Wendy. Then, there is a tall building opposite All Saints Church. I went there. Is it a cathedral or? Oh. So this one I have seen. Those projects will help the church to be self-supporting financially. It is good that the infrastructure of the church is growing. The NRM, that's our group, right from the beginning, believes in the freedom of worship of all people. We rejected long ago narrow positions of religious chauvinism which we believe to even be unreligious. The Bible advises us to let our light so shine before men that they see our good deeds and praise our Father in heaven. In other words, we should influence people by example, by living, by doing, we shall do more work than simply uh, pu pushing forward chauvinism, narrow chauvinism. We are glad the religious authorities in Uganda and maybe groups from other countries could learn from these people these religious leaders here, and the ones who are not here, I don't know whether they followed our example or they were inspired by God separately, but they also started the Inter-Religious Council. In Uganda now, we don't have those conflicts. You don't have conflicts on behalf of God. <laughs> but in the past, we had conflicts here by confused people who were saying they were acting on behalf of God to kill other people. We had conflict between Protestants and Catholics, between Christians and Muslims, now, those are not there. We, the ordinary people, opposed them, and either separately or, or later, the religious people also formed the Inter-Religious Council. So there is a, gov a governance structure for all the religious groups in Uganda. So when we hear that people are fighting on behalf of God in Syria, in what, in those places, people are dying, and that they are dying because of God, we think that is the work of the devil. On this occasion, when the Archbishop of Canterbury is here, the other day, His Grace the Archbishop of Canterbury visited us with Mama Janet in Entebbe. 
and I was trying to check my doctrinal position because he's the, the top of the church. So I said, now that you are here, can I check a few points? Because I have been doing some work or so on behalf of God. <laughs> I was very active until 1965 when I disagreed with the Scripture Union and withdrew a bit. So when I saw his grace, I said, now, can I, I checked a few points, but I don't want to divert you. And he told me what he thought. But on this occasion, when you are all gathered here, I'm very happy to see somebody from Brazil. Como está? Está bom. Very good. So, since you are all here, on this occasion, when the Archbishop of Canterbury is here, as somebody, me, who had the privilege to belong to the old religion, because me have belonged to two religions, the old religion of Africa, and also to, to join together with my parents in 1947, the new religion. I want to inform you, my small witness, my small testimony, as somebody who belongs to the two groups, the traditional and this one here. The Africans, I want you to know, believed in one God, Ruhanga Nyamuhanga, Katonda Wobutonzi. So we believed in one God long before the Christians uh, came. But we also believed in ancestral spirits, Emizimu, Emisambwa. The traditional religion was not very clear on the issue of resurrection, in spite of believing in the Emizimu or the Emisambwa. It is the Christian religion that brought two new value addition elements to the spirituality of the Africans of this area. Here I'm speaking authoritatively because I am from here, from the two groups. One element was the clarification of the issue of resurrection as Jesus did. This was now clarified because before it was not very clear. But with the Christian religion, it was clear that resurrection is a certainty. This is definitely value addition to our spirituality. I'm, I'm not in the theological groups, but as a, an amateur, as, as just the, I, I thought I should mention that so that uh, our friends from outside also know this. The second element is the issue of unconditional forgiveness and the elements of even loving our enemies. This was totally new. This was totally new. In our traditional religion, we believed in vengeance. When somebody does something wrong, we are to avenge. Yes, you could be forgiven, but you had to buy the forgiveness. You had to kukaraba, we call it in our language, kukaraba. You, the aggressor, you had to approach we, the victims, and we, we settle the blood settlement. In law, it is called matoput. But Christian religion taught us forgive unconditionally. Because remember, God also forgave us. But also, not only that, but also love our enemies. Because if we only love our friends, 
how are we different from the heathens who do the same? So I thought, as uh, somebody who has been around the two groups, I thought I should say this. I thank you, wish you good luck. At the end of the service, right on Rebo Kadaga will make some comments on something else. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving me this slot. Banago <laughs> Omsana. One minute, one minute. My mother was on Lokore, and whenever there was an issue, she would say, Tuzum Mushana, let's talk in the light. Now, people in the world like shaking hands, like hugging. Nayom Sana Gwende Solwarero, the Mushana I bring is that please, there is a very dangerous disease. That's why we are not shaking hands. We are saying, please, just wave. This disease is very contagious. You have had it has spread to all countries. It doesn't, it doesn't kill as much as Ebola. Out of the 80,000 people who have been infected, only 3,000 have died, which is like 5%. Now, it seems the ones who die from this disease are people who have other, other health problems. Huh. But you know that in Uganda we have got many people with health problems. So, Banange, Echintwecho, Sagara Mirambo Minji. So, please, let's, let's do the easy way. Don't shake hands. Yesterday I was, I was in Masaka, and the Catholic bishop there did a good thing. You, you know, the, the Catholic church, at some stage, you shake all your hands, like, like Jesus did, we shake hands. But there he said, no, no, I, I wish you peace, all of you now. <laughs> there was no need for shaking hands. But the good thing, yesterday in Masaka, they read a passage from the epistle to the Hebrews, which was to the effect that don't spend too much time on rituals. Rituals go for the substance. So this shaking hands, all this like that one is a ritual. It's not really the, the, the religion. Me, I wanted to quote my old uh, one passage. Rend ye your hearts, not your clothes. These rituals are just on the surface. What matters is what you believe inside you and between you and God. The commandments which you read here, love God with all your heart and all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. This is the, the two commandments which are the base of all commandments. So please, Uradde, uradde, uradde. Kwata gana mungaro. Mbada msiza mwenda. Katu wanda wabele. Olaba na jo. Na subidua umusagwa. Achibishu buwakanta bali. Na muwebi da mkono. Mwebale nyo mwebale.
Lord. Let us give God a big hand clap for this wonderful time. Uh, we have uh, the representative of the Muslims, Amranjara Nachibinje. We are very happy to see you, Sebo. We have uh, the General Secretary, uh, Executive Secretary of Kappa. Uh, the Executive Secretary of Kappa is here and representing the Kappa family. We have Uganda Joint Christian Council Executive Secretary uh, who is here. And we have also a representative from All Africa Conference of Churches. Please stand up wherever you are. All Africa Conference of Churches, and we are members. Uh, Monsignor, Monsignor Charles Casavante is here representing His Grace the Archbishop of Kampala Archdiocese. Monsignor, you're welcome. Uh, it will be very difficult to welcome everybody. Otherwise, we shall be doing that forever. We have many people. We have uh, a good friend, uh, uh, His Eminence Mufti of Uganda, Sheikh Shaban uh, Ramadan Mubadji, Chairperson of the Inter-Religious Council of Uganda. You are welcome. Yes, and your team. We have Bishop Joshua Rere, Overseer of Pentecostal and Evangelicals in Uganda. Bishop Joshua, you're welcome. We have Apostle Joseph Serrada, Presiding Apostle of Born Again Faith. You are welcome, Apostle. We have Pastor Dr. John Kakembo, uh, the Archbishop of SDA Uganda Union. Retired. We have Mr. Joshua Kitakure, Secretary General of Interreligious Council of Uganda. Welcome, Joshua. Mr. Simon Peter Muhammad, the Executive Director of Uganda Bible Society. And we. OHT uh, Professor Dr. Badru Katergaizia, welcome. Thank you for listening to me, and may God bless you. His Grace has given me permission to recognize the following families of the former bishops. The family of Archbishop Eric Sabiti, we welcome you and recognize your princes. The family members of Archbishop Janan Luwum, you are welcome. Family members of Archbishop Ngoyoyo, we welcome you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we have come to the point of uh, inviting you to stand. And we together sing 